That's better. <laughs> um, just want to get this right out of the way right now. Um, this is for money. This is for two grand. This is big. This is pressure. But I want to make you this promise right now. If I win, I'm going to give the money to charity. No, 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 no. Charity's a stripper. That's, uh... <laughs> Doesn't seem all that altruistic now, does it? <laughs> but uh, I came down from Prince George especially for this, and um, everybody knows Prince George, and I've got to tell you, we need a new PR firm for that fucking town. <laughs> Every time I come down here, someone says, hey, hey Mike, uh, I heard that a moose attacked the school bus. <laughs> And I go, seriously, is that all you hear about Prince George? They go, oh no, we heard it stinks too. <laughs> and that it's the most violent place in Canada. Now this is all true, but we need a PR guy, because you can take that kind of information and you can spin it, you can make it sound better, can't you? Instead of moose attack school bus, how about children get close up look at wildlife? <laughs> better, right? Yeah? Instead of Prince George stinks, how about Blind people can find Prince George. <laughs> Better. Is that the most violent place in Canada? How about Prince George donates blood? <laughs> Much, much better. But Prince George, and all of a sudden we're sharing the name with the royal prince, right? This working class town shares a, shares a name with a, with a born with a spoon in his mouth, will never work a day in his life, sense of entitlement, spoiled brat heir. <laughs> well, why didn't they name him Point Grey? But yeah, so, um, pretty short. I mean, this is a big province, right? This is massive. I came 800 kilometers for this. And there's the, the, the language is the same language, but it's different colloquialisms all over the place. Something you say in Prince George means something completely somewhere else in the province. Like um, a drag race in Prince George, completely different than a West Coast drag race. What'd you say? Yeah? And uh, boy, I'll tell you, saying jumping on a ferry in Kelowna is completely different than a West Coast I'm sorry, is this... Uh, is this blocking your view of me? Um, was that, uh... Oh, there he is! Hey, look at that. He was hiding behind there all this time. Isn't that odd? Now, sadly, for the next five minutes, you get to stare at my junk. For that, I apologize. And you know what I don't understand? When did this become junk? When I was growing up, you hear about my age, right? These babies were the family jewels, right? When did my balls become junk? When did my balls become blackberry stock? That's what I don't understand. But uh, yeah, I'm from Prince George and uh, I'm native, or part native, and um, the cool thing about being native is this. Is you can blind, based on the position of the sun, the moon, and the stars, I can find my way anywhere. You can blindfold me right now, take me 20 miles into the forest, and based on the position of the sun, the moon, and the stars, I can find my way right back to here. I first found this out when I was four years old, and my parents did it to me. And, um... <laughs> they were so surprised when I made it up. <laughs> Unfortunately, my powers don't work here in Vancouver. Gray sky confused, walking eagle. <laughs> walking eagle's my Indian name because I'm too fat to fly. <laughs> <laughs> my wife thinks it should be running late. <laughs> or breaking wind. <laughs> oh but, um... I was dressing for this, and then something struck me curious. These shoes, you like these shoes? Uh, these are my, uh, these are my dress shoes, right? Okay. And uh, what's weird is the terminology, because these are not the shoes that I wear with my dress. So I started thinking we should, we should um, name this kind of thing. We should figure out what shoes go with what certain things. Like for instance, um, you know what kind of shoes a plumber should wear? Clogs. Right? 
He's not even eating crow. Oh. Oh. 